Alright, in this video, we're going to talk about trigonometric ratios and applications. So, kung hindi pa kayo nakapag-subscribe sa channel ko, please do it now. Subscribe na kayo para updated kayo sa mga math and language videos natin. So, let's start with the trigonometric ratio introduction. So, mapapansin nyo sa right triangle, we have three parts. Yung opposite, adjacent, at yung hypotenuse. Kung saan yung angle... So, paano natin malalaman kung anong opposite pati yung adjacent? Ibibase mo siya kung saan yung angle of preference mo. Katulad dito sa theta, yung may arrow. So, yung mahabang arrow, yun yung opposite. Kasi yun yung, yun yung nasa harap niya eh. At yung katabi niya, that's adjacent. And ang hypotenuse palagi, ito yung palaging pinakamahabang side sa right triangle. So, we have six trigonometric ratios. Starting with sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, at cotangent. Yung tatlo dito, ang pinaka-importante, ito yung sine, cosine, at tangent. So, ito yung Sokotoa. Sokotoa stands for sine, opposite, hypotenuse, and yung CAH, that's cosine, adjacent, hypotenuse, and lastly, yung tangent. Yung Toa, that's tangent, opposite, adjacent. So, pag may angle ka of reference, ang sine, Theta, yung angle natin is theta. Sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So that's a ratio. For cosine theta naman, that will be adjacent over hypotenuse. And lastly, for tangent, that will be opposite over adjacent. So may kita mo dito sa next image natin, nag-iba yung pwesto ng angle. Siyempre, iba din yung opposite niya, pati yung adjacent. And for the other trigonometric ratios, so may cosecant theta, secant theta, and cotangent theta, reciprocal lang ito ng major trigonometric ratios natin. So, for example, sin theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Ang reciprocal na ito, o yung kabalikta rin niya, that's cosecant theta. So, pabalikta rin mo lang, that will be hypotenuse over opposite. At pag cosine theta, that adjacent over hypotenuse. So, ang secant theta will be hypotenuse over adjacent. And lastly, dun sa cotangent theta, Tangent theta kasi is opposite over adjacent. So, yung kabalik rin niya, cotangent theta will be adjacent over opposite. So, para mas maitindihan natin siya, let's go to the next chapter. Trigonometric ratios, solving missing angles and sides. So, for example, ito yung figure natin. We have the right triangle with the given 3, 4, and yung C, so yung sa hypotenuse. So, may two legs tayo. That's three units and four units. And we have a theta. Paano natin makukuha yung anim na trigonometric ratios? Dahil na mawala sa hypotenuse, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. Kasi may dalawang legs naman tayo. So, that will be c square is equal to a square plus b square. Now, to solve for c, that will be c square is equal to 4 square plus 3 square. And up to c square is equal to 25. And lastly, kunin mo yung square root nila, c is equal to 5. So, the hypotenuse is 5. So dahil kompleto na natin yung tatlong legs ng right triangle, malalaman na natin yung trigonometric ratios ng anim. So let's start with sine theta. Again, sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So, lagay mo yung sarili mo dun sa theta, ano ba yung opposite mo? That is 3. And ang hypotenuse mo naman is 5. So sine theta is 3 over 5 or 3 fifth. So for cosine naman, that is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, dun sa angle mo, ang adjacent mo ay 4, at ang hypotenuse mo ay 5. So, cosine theta is equal to 4 over 5, or 4 fifth. And lastly, tangent theta. Tangent theta is opposite over adjacent. So, lagay mo yung sarili mo dun sa angle, ang opposite mo ay 3, and ang adjacent mo ay 4. So, tangent theta is 3 fourth. Alright, so paano naman yung ibang trigonometric ratios. Again, partner naman sila, babalik tarin malang or kuko ni malang reciprocal. So for the cosecant theta, partner niya is sine, so that will be 5 thirds. Secant theta naman, ang partner niya is cosine theta with 4 fifths, so the reciprocal of that will be 5 fourth. And yung cotangent theta, ka partner niya is tangent theta, so tangent theta is 3 fourth. To get the reciprocal of that, that will be 4 thirds. Okay, so let's have another example. Paano naman pag nabigay yung hypotenuse at isang leg? At hanapin mo yung anima trigonometric ratios. 
So for this one, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the other leg. Kasi may hypotenuse naman tayo at isang leg. So that will be c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Algebraically, a squared is equal to c squared minus b squared. a squared is equal to 625 minus 225. a squared is 400 and a is 20. Now let's find the sine theta. Again, lagay mo agad yung sarili mo dun sa angle. So that will be sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Ang opposite ng theta is 15. Ang hypotenuse may 25, so that will be 15 over 25. When you mean lowest term, that will be 3 fifth. For cosine theta, that is adjacent over hypotenuse. So lagay mo yung sarili mo sa angle, that will be adjacent as 20, and the hypotenuse is 25. So cosine theta is 4 over 5. And lastly, for tangent theta. Tangent theta is opposite over adjacent. Tangent theta kasi, so ang opposite ng theta is 15. Ang adjacent mo is 20, so that will be 15 over 20. And the final answer will be 3 fourth. Alright, next one. Paano pag pinapahanap sa atin yung angle? We have the three sides at yung value ng angle naman in degrees ang pinapahanap sa atin. So let's start. Pinapahanap sa atin dito yung angle alpha. So for that one, let me muna ano meron ka. So we have the three sides. We can use the sign. Pwede naman cosine or tangent. So sign naman muna, that will be opposite and hypotenuse. Diba? Opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite ng angle alpha is 4. Ang hypotenuse mo is 5. So sine alpha is equal to 4 over 5 or 0.8. Now, kung gusto mo malaman yung degree or yung mismong value ng angle, Ikukunin mo yung inverse function ng sine, that will be arc sine. So that will be angle alpha is equal to the inverse function of sine or arc sine 0.8. So pag kinalki mo siya, ang angle alpha is approximately 53.13 degrees. Next, we're going to find angle beta. So remember, yung angle alpha is 53.13 degrees. So, to find that, since it's a right triangle, so yung right triangle is 99, yung isang angle. At yung isang angle mo is 53.13. So, to get angle beta, that will be 90 degrees minus 1 ng 53.13 degrees. And that will be approximately 36.87 degrees. You can solve it another way naman by using cosine. So, angle beta, so ang cosine mo kasi is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that will be, ang adjacent ng angle beta is 4, and ang hypotenuse mo ay 5. So that will be, cosine beta is 4 over 5, or 0.8. Now, to get the degree, you have to get the inverse function of cosine. So that will be arc cosine. Angle beta is equal to arc cosine of 0.8. So the answer will be still the same. Angle beta is approximately 36.87 degrees. Alright, so let's have another example. Meron tayong dalawang sides na given. So we have 12 dun sa isang leg at yung hypotenuse ay 30. So pinapahanap sa atin yung value ng dalawang degrees. Angle alpha and angle beta. So let's start with angle alpha. Angle alpha, so ano meron ka? Meron kang adjacent at meron kang hypotenuse. Naging may sarili mo dun sa angle alpha. So that will be Cosine, uh, cosine alpha is equal to 12 over 30 or 0.4. Now, angle alpha is equal now to be inverse cosine or arc cosine 0.4. So, the final answer for the value of angle alpha will be 66.42 degrees. Alright, next one. Let's find out the value of angle beta. So, lagay mo yung sarili mo dun sa angle beta. At anong meron ka? Opposite and hypotenuse lang. So, we have to use the trigonometric ratio na sine. So, sine beta is equal to 12 over 30 or 0.4. So, beta will be arc sine 0.4. So, pag kinalki mo siya, the approx approximately ang sagot dyan ay 23.58 degrees. Alright, so let's have another problem. Sa image naman makikita nyo, we only have the given yung degree na 30 degrees and yung isang leg na 4 units. Pinapahanap sa atin yung dalawang sides. 
yung isang leg na B, and yung hypotenuse na C. So, in solving this one, you have to check what are your given. So, you have 30 degrees, and meron kang isang side na 4. So, lagay mo yung sarili mo dun sa 30 degrees, meron ka lang adjacent. Para okay na yung adjacent lang, kahit may adjacent lang. Tapos, ang kung sunod mong gagawin is, kumuha ka lang ng isang unknown value, which is B. Kasi ito nga yung hinahanap, ba? Now, to solve for B, you have to find ano yung given mo muna. So, we have 30 degrees and yung adjacent leg mo na 4. So, meron na tayong adjacent. At ang hinahanap mo kasi dito is yung B. And B is the opposite of 30 degrees, ba? So, we can use the trigonometric ratio na tangent. Kasi ang tangent kasi is opposite over adjacent. Ang unknown mo is opposite at ang given mo is adjacent. So, pwede na yun. Malalaman na natin kung yung value ng B. Okay? So, for that one, that will be tangent 30 degrees is equal to B over 4. Yung B is an unknown side, unknown leg side, at yung 4 naman, in yung adjacent side na given. Algebraically, we can cross multiply. So that will be 4 tangent 30 degrees is equal to B. Tangent 30 degrees, pag ilagay niyo sa calcul, that will be approximately 0.57735. So times 1 ng 4, you will get the value of B. So the value of B is approximately 2.31 units. Alright, next, paano naman kung C ang pinapahanap? Ano ulit meron ka? We have the adjacent na given na 4 at pinapanap sa yung hypotenuse. So, that will be cosine ang gagamitin natin. Kasi diba sa katawa, ka, adjacent hypotenuse. So, that will be cosine 30 degrees is equal to 4 adjacent over C, which is the hypotenuse, which is the unknown. Ito hinahanap natin eh. So, algebraically, C is equal to 4 over cosine 30 degrees. C is equal to 4 over 0.866. So, ito yung value ng cosine 30 degrees. Approximate yun. So, the value of C is approximately 4.619. So, let's move on. Let's go to the application problems ng trigo. First, application problem. The angle of elevation of the top of the building at a distance of 40 meters from its foot on a horizontal plane is found to be 25 degrees. Find the height of the building. So, may kita mo yung age yung hinahanap natin kasi ito yung height. So, yung layo ng angle of elevation dun sa base ng building that is 40 meters with a degree of 25 degrees. May kita nyo sa image. So, dahil ang pinapahanap sa atin yung height, so that will be opposite. And meron tayong adjacent na given. So, that will be tangent ang gagamitin natin. So, tangent 25 degrees is equal to opposite which is H. Over mo ng 40 meters kasi ito yung adjacent. So that will be tangent 25 degrees is equal to h over 40. So algebraically, that will be 40 times tangent 25 degrees is equal to h. And the answer is approximately 18.65. Next problem tayo. Suppose that a 10-meter ladder is leaning against the building such that the angle of elevation from ground to the building is 62 degrees. Find the distance of the foot of the ladder from the wall. Okay, so ang meron ka is hypotenuse kasi di ba yung ladder nakaslant at nagpo-form siya ng right triangle. So sketch mo man yung graph. And we have the 62 degrees and angle of elevation, di ba, from the ground. At pinapanap sa atin yung layo ng ladder, yung base of ladder, dun sa wall. So that's x na lang. So we have the hypotenuse and adjacent. So adjacent and hypotenuse, that will be so katoa, I will use cosine. So cosine 62 degrees is equal to x over 10 meters. Find the value of x. Algeb algebra lang yan, so that will be 10 times cosine 62 degrees is equal to x. And x is approximately 4.65. 4.65 meters yung layo ng base ng ladder dun sa base ng sinasandalan niya sa building. Alright, so next lesson natin will be about physics, vectors, and future lessons, sasama ko na rin yung trigonometric identities. If you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video or kung may assignment kayo, comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please 
like and subscribe thank you bye bye